And teacher Maria would like to say welcome. Let's um, uh, read now Luke 18 verses 9 to 14. Great. Let us see our keywords for today. Repeat after me, please. Humble. Humble. Proud. Proud. Tax collector. Tax, tax collector. collector. Pharisee. 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 Attitude. 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 Weakness. Weakness. Strength. 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 To confess. To, to confess. confess. To be forgiven. To, to be forgiven. 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 And the last one, to be justified. To, to be, be justified. justified. All right. We are going to pray now. I fold my hands. I fold my hands. I bow my head. I bow my head. Close my eyes. I close my eyes. And pray. And pray. Thank you for the words you gave. They help me learn how I should live. In, In Jesus, Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. In the beginning, I'd like to show you something we have here, uh, some arrows, right? Um, in our lives, we are given opportunities to choose our attitude, okay? We get to choose our attitude. And today I will talk to you about two attitudes that are opposite, okay? We may choose to be proud or we may choose to be humble. Say with me, proud, proud, humble, humble. Okay. Attitude is very important. A person's attitude is important to God. You may already have an idea where will pride lead you and where will humility lead you right but in order to understand a little bit better let's do our bible st story okay our story starts with jesus often we hear jesus was surrounded by crowds of people today we hear some proud men were in the crowd following jesus and you have read in luke 18 the bible says that these proud men, they were confident of their own righteousness and they looked down on everyone else. To these people, Jesus told a parable. Jesus told them a parable. And he said like this, there was once a Pharisee and a tax collector. These two men went up to the temple to pray. The Bible says that the Pharisee um, spoke his prayer first and he, st he said, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, a robber and evildoer. I am not even like this tax collector. He said further, I fast twice a week and give a tie to God of all I get. But the tax collector stood at a distance. He would not even look up to heaven, but beat his breast and said, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Now, Jesus finished the parable and he um, taught a lesson to all those listening. And he said this, he said that the tax collector went home justified before God. He went home in a good relationship with God. Him, the tax collector, and not the Pharisee. And Jesus said, those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Are you ready to learn? Yes! Let's yes. learn! All right, let's see. Then, before we start learning our lessons, let, let's look at these two characters we uh, found out uh, about today. We have the Pharisee and the tax collector. Tax collector, yes. And 
I have here letter P, P and letter A. A. Letter P stands for Pharisee and also for pride or proud. Letter H stands for humble. humble and humility. I think by now you already know who was the proud person in our story. The Pharisee. The Pharisee. Yes, exactly. The Pharisee was the proud one. The tax collector was the humble, humble one. Now let's compare them a little bit, the two of them, the Pharisee and the tax collector. What do we know about it? They went to the temple and prayed. Pray. Both of them went to the temple. They both prayed. Obviously, they both believed God can hear. Listen. listen. Yes, they can hear. God can hear. God can listen to their prayer. Something else about Pharisees. On another occasion, Jesus said the Pharisees are blind leaders leading the blind. Hmm. About the tax collectors, what do you know? Were they honest people? The tax collectors, are they honest? Yes. Are they honest? No, we know people don't like the tax collectors um, because they cheat. Tax collectors, they are cheaters. They are dishonest. Okay? So, Israelites in general, they don't like tax collectors okay now this is what we know about these two people um why did the pharisee pray do you remember he said god thank you i am not like others yes i'm not like others and i fast twice a week and i give a tie to god is that good thing Yes, that's good. That's good. Very good. He has very good deeds. He's doing good, right? I, he is a good person. Uh, does he have any weakness, the Pharisee? No. Yes. Yeah. Everyone has weaknesses, okay? But when he prayed, he did not say anything about any weakness. How about the tax collector? Did he say something about some weaknesses? Did he speak about himself? Yes. Yes. What did he say about himself? He said, I am a sinner. 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 He said, I am a sinner. He spoke about his weakness. What I learn is that the proud cannot even recognize his weakness. But the humble can recognize his own weakness. The tax collector said, I am a sinner. The Pharisee said, I'm someone good, right? That's what he said. Lesson number two. He said, I'm someone good, right? I'm, I have my own strength. You know what? He was exalting his own strength. The proud person was boosting. He was exalting his own strength. He was doing some good deeds. Yes, good. He was he was doing something good, but he was so um, he was supposed to exalt in his own strength. How about the the tax collector? Was he praising, exalting his strength? No, he talked about his weakness, his sin. He was exalting something, someone else. The humble exalts God's mercy and strength, okay? The proud was just looking at himself, I'm good, I'm someone. The humble was looking at God, God, you are merciful, you have the power, I'm a sinner, okay? Yes? And one more thing. At the end of our story, Jesus said, who, between the two of them, who went back home in a good relationship with God? Who? 
who was the one that in the end had a good relationship with God? Humble. humble. The humble one, and that is the tax collector. He went back home in a good relationship with God. The Bible says he was justified before God. Is it because he did something good, this tax collector? No, he had sins. He didn't do anything good. It was only because of his heart. No, what sign Repentance. is this? Repentance. Faith. faith. Because of his faith, he went back home in a good relationship with God. But the Pharisee, he did good. He had good deeds. He was doing a good good job. Uh, fasting and praying, going to temple and giving the tithe. But he did not have a good relationship with God. I learned that we are not justified by good deeds. We are not in a good relationship with God because we do something. Okay? We want to... to um, we want people to praise us and God to praise us and have, no, no, not because our good deeds. But the tax collector went back home in a good relationship with God because of his faith. faith. We are justified by faith. We are in a good relationship with God because of our faith. Faith, exactly. So today... What will you choose? Will you choose to be proud? Will you choose to be humble? What do you think? What do you choose? Humble. What do you choose? Humble. Yes, if we choose to be humble, there is a reward to that. First Peter 5 verse 5 says, God opposes the proud, but he shows favor to the humble. This is where humility leads us. Okay? Humility leads us in that place where God can give us grace. But when we choose pride, where will this lead us? It will lead us to God opposing us. God will stand against us. Choose pride and God will stand against you. Choose to be humble and you will receive Grace. That's what this Bible verse says. And I have something else for you to, sh um, to show you. When we have a humble attitude, we are going to confess our sin. We know we have a weakness. We will confess. And then we receive? What do we receive? Receive. Forgiveness. 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 We receive forgiveness. And... If we, when we receive forgiveness, we are justified before God. What does that mean? We have a good relationship with God. God. Exactly. So we are going to pray, God, help us be humble. humble. Let's choose. Help us, God, choose to be humble. Okay? Don't look at ourselves, but look at God. Let's leave pride. Okay? Get rid of pride. Any pride. Okay? Let's pray all together. I fold my hands. I fold my hands. I bow my head. I, bow my head. I close my eyes. I close my hands. And pray. And pray. Dear God. Dear God. Help me. Help me. Be humble. Be humble. Help me. Help me. Recognize. Recognize. My weakness. My weakness. Help me. Help me. Look to you. Look to you and your mercy. And your mercy. And help me. And help me. Have a right. Have a right. Relationship. Relationship. With God. With God. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Bye-bye, everyone. We hope to see you again soon.